so let us go to the next topic which is very very important topic which is very technical topic okay so uh, i'll be drawing certain diagrams these diagrams as i said in the first video itself these diagrams are not standard diagrams which is only for the purpose of understanding okay now let us see the topic called as transmission techniques okay so let us see transmission techniques so what do you mean by transmission technique okay transmission technique is nothing but like uh, we already studied network topology if you remember what do you mean by network topology network topology is nothing but geometrical arrangement of computers and its resources okay why do we require network topology network topology is required for the purpose of communication so when you have another uh, like uh, networks like mesh topology ring topology bus topology and star topology why do we require this particular transmission technique okay because network topology does not support a very very larger network okay like if you take mesh network okay each computer should be connected with all other computers so it is not possible okay it becomes very very costly the same way you have a uh, disadvantages for each and every network topology that is the reason network topologies cannot be used for larger networks then what we have to do if at all i want to connect 100 million computers 10 million computers 1000 million computers how do i connect it okay i have to use a concept called as transmission techniques okay so why do i require this transmission techniques transmission techniques are required to develop larger networks okay it is required for the purpose of developing larger networks okay so these transmission techniques are divided into two types are divided into two types first one is called as broadcast second is called as switch in network so how many types we have sir we have two types first one is called as broadcasting or broadcast second is called as switch in network okay now what do you mean by broadcast broadcast is nothing but it's a simple concept we all uh, uh, we have already heard about cricket broadcast what do you mean by cricket broadcast it is nothing but there will be one sender and multiple recipients recipients that is the reason it is called as a broadcast okay so what do you mean by broadcasting broadcasting is nothing but you have a single sender and multiple recipients that is it okay what do you mean by broadcasting broadcasting is nothing but you have a single center and multiple recipients for example like let us say i have a server to this server multiple clients will be connected okay now let us take a small example like uh, um, taxman.com okay taxman.com okay so if you register as a client now let us say you have registered in taxman.com okay so when you register in taxman.com using your mobile number now let us say you have registered for direct tax okay now in direct tax let us say if at all there is any notification which is updated amended or with if at all there is any circular what will happen the server will push that particular information to all the recipients what exactly it will do it will push that particular message to all the recipients who are registered in the server okay so that is called as broadcasting so what do you mean by broadcasting broadcasting is nothing but you have a single sender and multiple recipients okay so what exactly happens if at all there is any change okay in that particular server that particular message will be pushed okay it is also called as push technology okay so it the message will be pushed to all the clients for example okay if you take if you install espn application okay in your mobile okay now let us say if at all uh, any uh, match is going on what will happen okay without you opening that particular application you will get a notification saying that india versus west indies okay or india versus sri lanka okay and so whenever you open okay it gives a notification this is the score this is the score this is the score okay that type of technology is called as broadcasting so what do you mean by broadcasting you have a single sender and multiple recipients okay so let us go to the next important topic which is very very important for your examination 
and it is uh, okay students will always think that it's a very very uh, like uh, difficult topic to understand okay it is not so if we see from the from uh, diagrammatic diagrammatically okay it's very very easy however please don't draw this particular diagram in the examination okay now what do you mean by switch in network switch network is nothing but we use a device called as switch okay so what do you mean by switch switch is nothing but a device which connects two or more computers together okay now it is also used for the purpose of communication now let us see how many types of switch in networks we have we have three types of switch in networks first one is called as circuit switching second is called as packet switching and last one is called as okay message switching let us see last one message okay so how many types of switched networks we have we have three types first one is called as uh, circuit switching second is called as packet switching third one is called as message switching okay so let us see what is circuit switching okay how the data will be transmitted from one computer to another computer in circuit switching please understand okay so it's a very very technical topic so please consider let us say this is a standard diagram for a switch okay using a switch i can connect like uh, thousands and thousands of computers together okay like uh, for example if i want to connect all the computers in delhi okay i require only one switch okay so for the purpose of understanding let us take five switches okay and how these switches will be connected these switches will be connected using telecommunication medium or it is also called as wire so okay how many switches i have i have five switches okay let us say take this switch as one this switch as two this switch as three this switch as four and this switch as five okay so i have five switches okay now let us assume we have a computer let us name this computer as a we have another computer let us take this as b okay so let us say how let us see how we transmit this particular data okay how do we transmit the data between a and b okay now let us say we have data what you have to do okay this circuit switching will convert the data into packets okay so as i already told you packet means a small subset of data okay now let us say this is 1 2 3 and 4 okay so i took data i converted data into packets okay the once you take the data and convert the data into packets you have to transmit the data between a and b okay however if i want to transmit this particular data or packets from a to b okay you would require a dedicated path okay what do you require you require a dedicated path okay however how many paths you will be having you will be having multiple paths between a and b for example i can transmit the data from 1 okay i can transmit from 1 to 2 to 2 okay i can transmit this way okay i can transmit this way or okay i can transmit from 1 4 5 or i can directly transmit from 1 3 5 okay if you see i can transmit you have so many alternative paths okay so what exactly this circuit switching will do circuit switching has to select a dedicated path let us say okay it selected the path 1 4 and 5 okay so it selected this particular path now this path becomes a dedicated path okay this becomes a dedicated path the once a dedicated path is selected all the packets will be transmitted using the same path so how the date packets will be transmitted the packets will be transmitted in the same path now once all the packets are transmitted in same path once it is received by the receiver receiver will combine all the packets together to form at the okay so this type of transmission is called as circuit switching so how you have to write in your exam okay simple okay so in circuit switching the data will be divided into packets okay second point circuit switching selects a dedicated path 
once the path is selected, all the packets will be transmitted in the same path. Okay, so this is how we have to explain it in an exam. Now let us go to the next one called as packet switching. Now again, okay, let us see what is a packet switching. Again, let us take five switches. Let us name one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. So again, I have a computer A and I have a computer B. Okay. So how do I transmit the data in packet switching? Okay. Here I have data. Here I have data. So first step is same. In circuit switching, what we did, we took the data, we converted the data into packets. The same way here also, I took the data, I converted the data into packets. Okay. So once I converted the data, okay, what I have to do? Okay, each packet should be assigned with source and destination address. Okay, I take every packet. Okay, I consider okay uh, sender as A or sender address as A. I, I have to affix source and destination for every packet. Now, once I assign source and destination for every packet, I have to release all these packets in the network. What I have to do? I have to release all the packets in the network. Now, unlike if you see circuit switching, all the packets transmitted in the same path. But in packet switching, all the packets will not be transmitted in the same path. Each packet will take its own route. So each packet will take its own route and once these packets are received at the receiving end, all the packets are combined together to form like the data. So this is called as packet switching. So if you ask me what is the difference between circuit switching and packet switching, in circuit switching all the packets have to be transmitted over a dedicated path. In packet switching, okay, every packet okay, uh, will be taking its own route for the purpose of reaching to the destination. Now, where do I use this particular packet switching? Packet switching is used at the time of transmitting messages like WhatsApp, etc. Everything will be using this particular packet switching. Okay, so uh, we are done with circuit switching, we are done with packet switching. Now, let us move to the last one called as message. Okay? Now, this message switching is also called as store and forward. A very very important term please remember okay it is also called as store and forward okay so why it is called as store and forward let us see okay now again in message switching also i take five switches okay let us name this as one this is as two this as three this as four and this as five so let us say this is computer A, let us assume this as computer, okay. So I have certain data, I want to transmit the data from A to B. So in message switching, okay, unlike that of circuit switching, packet switching, okay, here it will not divide the data into packets, okay. So it will not divide data into packets. So what happens, okay. So when you say send, okay. The entire data will be transmitted to first this particular switch. Now this switch will store the data. It will what it will do? It will store that particular data. Now once the line is available, okay, you have three lines, okay. Once the line is available, what it will do? It forwards the data to the next switch, okay. So what it will do? It will forward data to next switch. Again, what this switch will do? This switch will store the data. Once the line is available, again it forwards the data to the next switch, okay. So that is the reason it is called as store and forward, okay. Now here the data will not be divided into packets, here the entire data will be transmitted from one switch to another switch. That is the reason it is called as store and forward, okay. And where do we use this particular message switching? All email applications, all email applications will use this message switching. Okay. So, uh, with this we are done with okay, the most important topics of part A. So, we are done with uh, a last topic in part A. However, we have components of uh, telecommunication networks. Okay, uh, that is a different aspect. 
but okay uh, this is the most difficult topic where the students will be finding difficult to understand so we uh, study transmission techniques how, why do we require transmission techniques for the purpose of developing a larger network how many types of transmission techniques we have we have three types first one is called as broadcasting second sorry we have two types first one is called as broadcasting second is called as switch networks okay so what do you mean by broadcasting broadcasting is nothing but you have a single center and multiple recipients okay now why do we require a switch network switch networks are required to develop a larger network how many types of switch networks we have we have three types first one is called as a circuit switching second is called as packet switching and third one is called as message switching so what do you mean by circuit switching in circuit switching the entire data will be divided into packets and all the packets will be transmitted in the same dedicated path what do you mean by packet switching packet in packet switching the entire data will be divided into packets and each packet will be affixed with source and destination address and every packet will take its own route okay and it will reach the destination and what do you mean by message switching in message switching the data will not be divided into packets the entire data will be transmitted from one switch to another switch that is the reason it is also called as store and forward okay hope you like this particular thing okay please subscribe to my channel okay thank you okay so with this we have completed however we have components of telecommunication networks that's a very very big topic uh so these are the most important topics however okay as i said okay we have components you have to study from the study material okay so uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you